Well, hello, all you YouTubers out there. My sister's being a hose bag. <laughs> okay, so today's lesson is going to be how to make a scrunchie. And it's all over YouTube, so this is not new to anybody, but this is the material. Isn't that pretty? And we have our ruler. No, we don't need those triangle things, but they're really cool templates anyway. My sister's a quilter. And this is the other design. How pretty. Thank you. You need your sewing machine. Got your scissor. You need a elastic. So <clears throat> it's all in the preference. Make sure you iron your fabric. These are quarter, what are they? Quarter? Fat quarters. Fat quarters. So iron them. Five inches wide. Five inches wide. And by 18 long. By 18 long. And you make sure they're all ironed. And even before you cut the fabric, because you want to get the things out of there. So my sister did that. And now we have do we the flip other. This? Yeah, flip that. And then Wrong do it this way? Yeah. About a quarter of an inch. Let me just come around this way while you're doing about a quarter of an inch. Coffee. So you're gonna fold it quarter of an inch, right Does side facing down. It don't it don't have to be perfect. No. So that's what she's doing. There we go. She pressed that. She's gonna do that side. About a quarter. Just makes the edges nice and finished. Finished. So yeah. This is real time. She's got cute cat fabric back there. Paper towels. Isn't that cute? What are we making with that? Baby quilt. A baby quilt. So she is a quilting genius. No, I'm not. She is too. Nope. Okay. And she's... Flip it over. So now we're going to fold that fabric in half, right sides together, or some people would say... Pretty sides together. Like, really? You kidding me? And then she's going to iron that. Dun, 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 dun. The iron jaws. So she's going to iron that. And then you can pin it together. Oops. Let me pause this. We're going to pause this for a moment. All right, so she pinned them all together. So your next step is going to be, you're going to sew it about a quarter of an inch all the way down. So she's going to take this to the sewing machine. Be right back. All right, so my sister chickened out. She wants to <laughs> videotape this part. <laughs> so we're going to take it to the sewing machine. And we are going to... Well, at least a quarter inch. Whatever. Put our needle down. Do not sew over your pin. So we'll take the first one out. Do a little bit and then... We're going to reverse it. First we'll go forward. Take it out. We're going to... All right, so the phone was ringing. We had to pause it. Nobody important. <laughs> you know, those calls that you just don't want to answer. All right, so we're going to finish sewing this straight down. You know, I hate this presser foot just wants to do what it wants to do. Either you sew real slow or you sew like a psycho. I love these pins, little flower pins, and they're nice and long. I have some somewhere in my house. I don't know where the hell they are. Butterfly, Butterfly pins. 
dork. Did you hear that, people? She called me a dork. And I'm sure you heard that. I'm sure I'm up here in beautiful upstate New York. And it is gorgeous. The scenery is nice. The leaves are starting to change. sets the stitch and make sure your needle is up and I have a nice little thingy here all right so our next step do we have a scissor dun, 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 dun. we just want to cut the ends I like these, uh, these are nice. Just cut the end. I just cut the whole thing. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll trim this part. Look, you see what happens? You catch it. Try not to let that happen. I guess for scrunchies, it don't matter. And now you're gonna turn this right side, right side out. And we're gonna start it, and then Missy's gonna pause it. So we're gonna show you first. Just turn it. Isn't that nice, the little arrows? And you're just gonna make sure. Cause some, oop, hey, eh? Sometimes. And just keep pulling it until it comes. And usually I just do this. And it will, there we go. I hold on to that. However, you turn it inside out. They have tools, you can use a pencil. That's why I make it big enough. Five inches wide, will give you about two and a half inches of scrunchiness. And look at that. So now you have that. And, oops, there we go. And then you have to iron it. Sorry. You got away with that, folks. <laughs> Alright, so Jean's gonna put that on pause. Alright, so real hard to do, folks. Ironing. <laughs> That's how you do that. From what I learned, it sets the stitches. And now you got a nice flat piece. So, next step, you put the elastic inside. So, take one. Can you please give me that scissor? You need your elastic. And this one's pretty long, but I'm going to tie it in a knot. There's a couple of ways you can do that when you, usually it's about half, half of it. I'm not going to cut a gigantic piece off, so you don't normally be there, but since I'm tying it in a knot, we'll just cut a little bit. Throw that off to the side. You need a safety pin.
And you're going to hook it on the elastic. All right, you can see that. Mm -hmm. Having somebody else film it for you. And then, this is what I do. I take the whole... Thank God I don't have my double glasses on or else we'll be filming me Stop with that. Stop raising it. <laughs> <laughs> I pin this or you hold it but it's easier just to pin it because you're going to hold it in place <laughs> and look at that alright so you're going to find your safety pin in here am I doing alright for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're just going to squish it through 18 inches, I guess, is about average. Some people do it 15. I think that might be a little too small. Maybe it's good for kids. Kitty thing. All right, so here you have. You can take the pin out. Don't lose the strap. Then you'll be cursing if it goes inside the fabric. Inside the little funnel there. Take the pin out. Some people will sew it together, but for these, really, I just tie them in a knot and make sure you, however tight you want it. Some people with thicker hair don't want it that tight. These are so stretchy. They're a little tighter, so you just tie it in a knot. You pull that. Pull that. Pull that. So now you got this knot, and you can, I would fix it where it goes really deep inside. It doesn't have to be, but it's right about here now. Because you want to sew this together, and you're going to stick the two open ends into. I'm going to stick one side into the other, and you notice this falls right in there. Just go with it. Tuck the rest of it in there. You can close this two ways by hand. If you do a blind stitch around, it probably would make it look a little better, almost like stall board. Or you can sew it on your machine, which that is how we're going to do it. So. Miss Jean is going to pause it, and we're going to be right back when I'm sitting at the machine. You're on. You're on here. <laughs> so we're going to sew it this way. It's quick. And really, if you have it in your head, you're not going to see it. So, and that's why I got black thread. I'm going to, oh, bad. Put the needle down first. Give it a couple little stitches back, reverse it, there we go, that's the first time it ever went slow back for me, and we're going to move it forward, and backwards, forward, move the needle one more time, I want it to go to the end, there we go, make sure the needle is up, and you this up, And there you have your scrunchie. Cut these off, or you can tie the ends and tie them into knots if you wish. Or you can just cut them off. Today we're just going to cut them off. So, now that you did that, them off. Here's your scrunchie. Since Jean's got the thing, we're gonna try it in the hair. Now my hair is pretty thick and I usually do a little messy bun Turn around and there you have it. Scrunchieville. I love it. So, all you YouTubers out there, 
that is it for today. We're going to make some pin cushions too. <laughs> and I'm not going to videotape that until we get it right. See you later. Bye.